Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Today's topic is going to be what if an heir dies during the probate process. But before we dive into that topic, if you have any questions pertaining to estate planning or probate or want to schedule a free phone consultation with me, contact me at njestateattorney.com. You can send me an email directly at david at campaneallaw.com or uh, if you're on YouTube, it's down below. If you're on LinkedIn, it's up here. Uh, there's a direct link to my calendar and you can schedule an appointment directly right on my calendar. So what if a person dies during the, an heir dies during the probate process? You may be thinking this is not a scenario that happens and that I am crazy, but hey, this does happen. It probably happens more frequently than we, uh, we really think it does. Um, and that's because the length of the probate process. Um, probate normally in the state of New Jersey can take uh, a minimum of six months. I've seen it go on for years. Um, so I just thought this was pretty important to bring to your knowledge. So if, an heir, if a person who's going to inherit, so let's say there is the decedent, the person who died, and there's their heirs, basically, or the people that are going to inherit from that person's estate. That person, the decedent, is going to open up a probate. And based on the will or based on the laws of intestacy, they're going to um, divide out the shares equally. If there is a will, there's normally a survivorship clause in it. I believe I build in about a 30-day or 45-day survivorship. I can't remember off the top of my head. A clause into it, into our wills. So um, basically what that means is in order to inherit from the previous estate, uh, in order for the heir to inherit, they would still have to live for 30 to 45 days. However, under the rules of New Jersey, if there's no will or no survivorship clause, it's only 120 hours, which is five days, which isn't a long period of time. Um, and this probably is, isn't making a lot of sense. Um, and what we would do normally is look to the decedent's will to see what is the survivorship clause. And now to determine if the heir has met the survivorship clause or if it hasn't, if the heir has met the survivorship clause, that heir is going to have to create or basically open up a probate process for their beneficiaries or their heirs. If the heir has not met the survivorship clause, the heir does not have to open probate to collect from the first estate. It would be um, the first estate's will would dictate how to disperse the funds, if it would just go to all the other beneficiaries or if um, other, if it would go to somebody else. Um, so let me paint an example for you. Um, so the example here is, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and this can also happen if the person dies simultaneously as well. So let's just paint the picture for you. I'm going to say John passes away. And in his will, he says, I'm going to give to my uh, one child, um, his child. There, and in John's will, there's a survivorship clause of 30 days. John's child passes away 28 days after John passed away. Now, in this scenario, the child who was the heir and then let's say that the child had two children, uh, John's grandchildren. So for the, and for John to inherit, uh, excuse me, for the grandchildren to inherit, they would not have to have their parent go through probate to take from John's estate. The grandchildren would um, just be able to receive directly from John's estate their parents' allocation or distribution kind of still with me here in the other example again John 
dies, his one and only child, passes away 40 days later. John's will says there's a 30-day survivorship clause. The child has now outlived that survivorship clause. Therefore, he's deemed to have survived John. So now, John's grand for John's two grandchildren to inherit, their parent would have to open up a probate estate, would have to probate the estate. John's estate would transfer for the money from uh, the estate that the child was John's child was owed to John's child's estate and then it could get dispersed to the children. So it kind of becomes a two-step process. Now, if you're not deemed to have survived, you're deemed to have predeceased. Um so we we do look for that. However, if there is no will, if there is no survivorship clause, remember it's only in New Jersey 120 hours. It's 5 days that you would need to survive. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, everything I said made sense to me um, and up in my brain. If it didn't, please reach out to me. I will explain it as in maybe a few other different ways. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Share this video out to people. If you know anybody who's struggling with estate planning or probate, send them this video. Tell them, hey, I was thinking about you. Maybe this can help you. Uh, if you are interested in discussing this topic or any other topic in estate planning or probate, please contact me at njestateattorney.com. Send me an email directly at david at campaniolelaw.com or schedule an appointment directly on my calendar on the link above or below. Um, I This is a free strategy session. Yes, I said it, free. So I am around. My name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.